Hey, Mr. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal. Now, for today's episode, we'll be making a new power generator because I need to go to the the beneath. And why do I have to go to the beneath? Because remember the angel ring. Angel ring. This is the ultimate goal of the mod pack. Well, in my opinion, this is the ultimate goal. So, in order for us to get the uh, the crystal, the gold crystals, and the osmium crystal, we need to go to the beneath, or we need to utilize the mechanism mechanism machines. And mechanism machines mostly composed of the osmium. If I could just, it needs osmium ingot, and uh, osmium ingot is only found in the beneath. The the current power generation that we have is not really that powerful it only generates 840 RF per tick and uh, for the builder it needs a moderate amount of energy so we need to, make, to create another power gen and I believe that the endogenic generator will do the trick I've tweaked this kind of so that it will become as flat as possible and I'm proud to say that this is one block fat so this is like the thinnest Endergenic generator. I'm, I think I'm gonna call it a pancake endergenic generator, I guess. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the endergenic rate generators at uh, the very corner of this wall right here. So, something like that. By the way, guys, these are these are 100% infused. So, uh, yeah, I think this will generate a moderate amount of energy now. So, this is how you orient things. So, we need to put spare blocks here. And then another spare blocks here. Just like that. And then, we need to put the... The sequen the inner monitors and the sequencers. So, ender monitor facing up and then and their monitor facing downwards now you need to configure this as pearl fired this is not the default one I already tinkered with this so this should be pearl fired and then for the sequencer we need to be this needs to be face, uh, facing upward and this needs to be facing downward and this should be configured to 3 and 5 2 of them and also this should be 1's 2 okay nice next is we need to put the pearl injector at the bottom something like that uh, this will be accepting ender pearls no matter what because I've already um, set up the item node interface we just wired it wirelessly towards this pearl injector so yes it, it will just automatically uh, insert the ender pearls nice so we can now remove this and as you can see it is like flush to the wall so it is like a wall next is we need to put the ender monitor on top that is facing upward this should be here and uh, we need to configure the endergenic generators first this should be going to this Endogenic generator right here. It, it doesn't. It needs to be in a clockwise orientation, or else this will not work. Again, do the same to the others, just like so. Next is we need to put an advanced redstone interface at the top of this, just like that. And then we need a timer facing to the left just like so and then we need uh, a position filter for that this needs to be at the block this one this this thing right there and then put this one in the advanced redstone interface and then again you need to put another advanced redstone interface here and it should be should put a block here stone brick right here another sequencer I, I mean facing towards the left and this should be one and two and in the end one's two and then put 
another advanced interface just like so this is familiar right this sequence right here is familiar this should be at the left for to power this and this so it is just like the same as the norm or the normal most of the time built endogenics uh, generator this sequencer right here should be powering this and this so we need two position filters for this one and for this one so they should put this one right here okay now to activate this we need position filter for this dude right here so let's make another position filter for that one click this one and then put this one right here okay we need to put oh no not this one we need to put another sequencer facing towards the left just like so and this would be 2 and 3 because this is where it's supposed to score it's supposed to continue right so in order for us to have this kind of mechanism in here we need to make use of this ender monitor at the top and then the sequencer which is the same as this one will be input in here will be wirelessly redstoned if you'd say so I need another position filter for that it needs to be put in this block right here specifically and then put this right here nice and then we need just the nor normal basic redstone interface just like so and then we need a redstone tool this one right here and this should be powering this one right here just like that so we have this cycle already we have completed a cycle now we need to to repeat the cycle we need this to connect to this so we need another let's see let's put a, a stone brick right there and then we need to put another sequencer which is at the bottom of this now we need another position filter for this dude right here put this one right here so what this means is that this endogenic monitor will start or will monitor once this is fired so after one two three four five six seven eight ticks this should open and then fire again so one two three four five six seven eight let's just do this once two again don't forget about the ones two and then we'll put another basic redstone interface at the bottom of this and then connect this one to this dude right here okay so if we for example oh yeah I need to fire this so I need another position filter so in order for this to fire we need to filter this and then put at the timer the, the thing that is activated by the timer so this one right here so if we take a look Oh yeah, remember. So the timer needs to be firing this two right here. So I need another, well, I need more or two more of this position filter right here. There we go, just like that. Then we need to assign this and this and then put this one in our position filter, or I mean in our timer right there. And then let's jump start this one again. And as you can see, hmm, is it a bit too fast? I don't know. No, but if we take a look at our smart wrench, Pearl arrive at nine, nine, nine. Most of them nine. And now, in order for this to Pearl or last Pearl at ten, we need to change this one. We have this RNG going on, so instead of eight, this should be nine. Now if we take a look at it again there okay it's not working last pearl at 10 all of them are 10 by the way guys uh, note it needs to be in 
in a one chunk so that this will not um, this will not malfunction or whatsoever so at least it needs to be in one chunk or else this there is some RNG going on so yes now I need to put the vibrant capacitors and then I need more vibrant capacitor banks just like so and then put this one right here and then at the top as well we can I don't know how to change this yeah this one right here and this one right here I think we can configure this I, I, I forgot oh there we go so just like that just like that look at that our input is 23 K per tick how crazy strong is this look at that we're killing it boys look at that 6,000 RF per tick you do it okay so we have like yeah there is an RF lost for this setup right here but the RF gain is super big that it doesn't really matter Like it doesn't the, the loss doesn't really matter because this is the norm uh, build of the people I just kind of like tinkered it a bit so that it will be one block uh, thin cover the entire thing and then just fill this one as well oh yeah we need a node for this so that we can tr wirelessly transfer the the energy so we should be adding energy to the flux network there we go just like that and then select ender gen just like that now it's not uh, inputting fo uh, power because we don't have any storage flux storage so yes but this is working fine I just need to configure the configure I mean just to set up the builder in the beneath and we think this will be working fine now hey look at that look at that boys input is 23k right okay moving on before we go to the beneath we need to make another armor which is which is the end uh ender io ender this this things right here the ender armor set now you may be wondering why why am i trying to get the ender plate when i didn't where i haven't get or gotten to the end yet well there's an easy way to do this to so remember the skills where we have this thing right here transmutation if you take a look at it it, it says unlocks the ability for choros fruit to be or chorus flute to be used as a block transmutation agent which will transform some blocks into others now the funny thing is if whenever you right click the chorus flute or fruit to a stone it turns into an end stone now where do I get the chorus flute if I course flute why do I keep saying flute chorus choros uh, chorus how do I get this well the tra luckily the traveling merchant trades chorus fruit by emerald or using emerald so with this we can pretty much get the end seed there we go so we just need purple blocks and end stone and we're gonna get this and then one uh, one harvest of this we can get us 24 end stone which is more than enough to get the end steel how great how, how good is this I actually have it already like look at this free guardian diet you can just pretty much get this by using the end splice and then some prismarine shards crystals all the fancy goodies yes this I already made all this possible and uh, we're ready to go we're, we're ready to build this yo now in order for us to switch easily from our supreme armor set and from our ender uh, ender armor set we need to make use of 
this one inventory upgrade I already uh, gathered some of the or the ingredients in order for this to be easily you can easily get this and then you just eat this and then BAM we have this now so we can just equip this just like so now if you want to change you can just do this and then we have switched look at that dude also guys there's a a game breaking bug uh, I'm going to show it to you guys let's see empowered 3 there we go empowered 3 now if you put a dark boots with upgrades on it to an to an item frame what would happen is it would duplicate the upgrades look at that what the heck is this so we have instant empowered 3 upgrades now if we, if we remove this boots the upgrade is still there now if we if we put it back on and again <laughs> we get we'll get the the upgrades how crazy is this but um i i do want to make use of this i i do want to cheek my way out of this but yeah it's a it's another way i i think this will be patch so to the guys out there who haven't um figured this one out better do it now because you know make things easier for you for you guys so yes another the reason why i'm making use of the ender io armor set is because because of the the upgrade which is the night vision night vision is super good to have and also for the elytra so we don't have to make use of this hang glider all the time so whenever we want to explore we'll just switch to our ender helm and uh we're, we're good we're pretty much good to go yeah so uh it's super slow now because we haven't upgraded the armors so that's why it's it's not yet the best but once we upgrade this this will be this will, this will be good to go okay so um i guess i'll just be switching this back and uh and then we'll go to the beneath also i need my builder which i already have it made the beneath port a uh, teleporter and then just put it to sap in here and uh we're ready to go we just need torch launchers, not a fancy. Uh, yeah, I need to up. Uh, you know what? Maybe before we go to the beneath, I need first to make the uh, the jet propulsion, the squid flying squid thing. This this one right here. So yes, yeah, so we now have our flying squid, and uh, let's put this in our bobble. By the way, guys. I've made or I've traded Horseshoe, Nazar, and Hellish Bobble to uh, from a from a uh, villager, which is the I forgot its its profession. I guess it's the something like it. It's it's wearing green coat, and uh, it's trading seeds like mystical agriculture seeds, and as well as bubbles from the bewitchment uh it's very handy to 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 trap because look at the seeds i've gotten we have conductive iron seeds we have sulfur seeds we have end seeds we even we even got we even got the gold seed which is supposed to be impossible but yeah, we we've traded this one, and it's it's working. It can get us gold or golden, or gold ingot seeds or gold ingots. My God, I can't speak. So yeah, that, dude, that was pretty handy. Okay, so how do we get GP though? Um, there's a good way to uh to get or to cheek your way out of this just by going to the player shop and then signing this one blah 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 we'll be opening that later and then check this one and then later 
And then this is where the fancy, the good. Uh, this is where you cheek your way out. So this, you you get watermills, and uh, maybe let's just get that later. But yes, you get watermill for free. For free, boys. By the way, guys, I made a Paxel, but it uses Silk Touch. So yeah. Okay, let's put this one right here, and then something like this. So this is where the water. Oh damn! This is too fast. Water right here. God, it's so laggy. I don't know why. Water right here. Okay, we need to get water. Just like so. Okay, let's go, boys. Now I need to set up this. Okay, so that this will take a while. Okay, I haven't been to the beneath. Oh my god. Um, this is a weird spot to be in. It's so laggy though. I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, let's dig our way out of this. I need this to be 3x3. Three three. There we go. Where is the outside world? Um, hello? There we go. This is what I'm referring to. Oh god. Oh god, that scared me. Gee. God. It scared me. God. Okay, let's destroy this. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Now I just need to lay some torch on torches at the bottom of this. Okay, I think that's more than enough. Man, night vision is going to help me a lot in this in this area right here. Dang it. Um, okay, so uh, it's it's a bit far, but uh, I think this will do. Oh God. There we go. So put a torch there. So I guess we'll just use the propulsion. Oh god. Um let's go, let's go. Oh god. It's so scary. I need to do that again. There we go. Before we get eaten by the Gru. Dang it. Don't be eaten by the Gru. Light. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Okay, we have a sp spider. Hello there, friend. Okay, so we're in a we're in the middle of a very big hole. Nice. Okay. Woo! God, this is a great place to set up the builder. Let's put a builder um, somewhere, maybe here, the side, something like that. And uh, we need to get the flux point. This is fine. There we go. Dude, look at that. A card, a card, a card. Where's the card? A quarry. Maybe a silk touch would be good. Yeah, I guess the silk touch would be good. So, um. The, this one's silk quarry. Silk quarry. Oh god, it needs nether star as well. Jesus. I'm ready to kill you. Oh yeah, I should test... I should... Just not cover this one. 
Ooh, look at that pinatas. Look, I'll not get wither. See? I didn't get any wither. Boy. Okay, so I need the two wither stars. Oh, I... <gasps> I got the old purpose juju. What? What? That is OP. God, I already have... Dang it. You know what? Just stop. RF tools. Clearing silk quarry. Silk is, I guess, better. There we go. Okay, I also need to make the uh, simple storage network. Nice. So goodbye to you, old friend. There we go. Yeet! So first off, that we need to quarry is this this this, this thing right here. Okay, so I guess I'm I'm ready. Am I ready? I guess I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now select the first corner. Okay. Sure do. Um, it should be somewhere. Maybe this area right here. There we go. Let's select the second corner. I guess this is the. This is supposed to be the height. No, no, I think it says cor it says corner though. I don't know. Maybe it's the height. I guess this area right here. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Ouch! Stop. Bad grew. So if we this is super small. Let's see, let's uh support mode. That is super small. Uh, let's change this one. There we go, okay, that's like the base level. And then we move this one a couple of blocks down so 35 plus 21 uh, that's 56 uh, not not enough so maybe just 60 flat yeah that's more than enough okay I guess it's uh, it's a go-go modular storage so put this one right here and then we need a a storage module storage here we go okay so uh, we're using how much power do we are we using 20 RF per tick. So yes, this will this will just conton continuously work. Yeah, 20 RF is the max. Even with this able limit. Yo, I think we're it's done. Oh no, it's chunk 8 of 16. You see, max output is 200,000. Why is it? 20,000 RF per tick only. Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. Anyways, I guess that's it for today's episode, guys. This is... This has been one hell of a journey, and uh, we're almost there, you know? Like, we're almost to the end game of the mod pack. Uh, whenever I say end game, it's, it's talking about the angel ring. So once we get the angel ring, we're gonna end the uh, the mod pack and uh, we're almost there to be honest so anyways yes this is uh, my version uh, let me just cover this so yes this is my version the, th the pancake endergenic generator uh, if you want a tutorial of this I'll gladly do so thank you guys for watching see you in the next episode as always thank you for watching we will win. I will have
have to join forces.